Proudly, we hail. Hello from Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen. This is C.P. McGregor speaking and welcoming you to another performance of Proudly, We Hail, a program presented by your War Department. Through the courtesy of the Hollywood Coordinating Committee, we welcome Mr. Kurt Kruger as the star of our play in The Walls Are High, written by Richard Hall, with music by Eddie Skrivanek. <laughs> The situation in which Darrell Everett, the actor, found himself wasn't exactly the most pleasant in the world. Nobody can call the cold, gray walls of the state prison pleasant. Darrell had plenty on his mind, and the visitor, his close friend, actor agent Tony Reed, was quick to sense it. Look, Darrell, I don't like to hear you talk this way. I can't help it. Oh, I know you've been through a lot. Believe me, I've been with you all the way, but... Well, you've got to be patient. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. Oh, yeah, I know it is, Darrell. But listen to me. Regardless of what you've been through, you've got everything in the world ahead of you. Sure. Sure. But you have. Why, listen, Darrell, I'm your friend. I know you too well. Well, when you start talking like this, well, you do crazy things. Do I? Oh, please, Darrell, give me a little more time. I'm doing everything that I can. You've been great, Tony. Oh, save it. Just don't like to hear you talk this way. Just don't want you to do anything more that you'll regret. Phew. Oh, boy. Hot out here in the yard today, isn't it, Louis? Yeah. Let's grab some shade before you have another one of those fainting spells he is. <laughs> Look at that tower hack up there. He's getting plenty of sun today. Yeah. I guess if he doesn't get enough sitting up there with a machine gun, he can always go to the beach next Sunday. Pleasant thought, the beach. I used to go there a lot. Back in the days when manslaughter was a word I used to read in the papers. People who can go there every day in the week don't realize what a pleasant thought the beach is. Oh, I don't know. I was never much for it. It's all right if you don't get sunburned. Me, I get sunburned easy. Oh, I like the sun. Anyway, but in this yard, I like people and crowds and, and lights. Say, and... you was an actor, wasn't you? That's right. How did it feel, standing on that stage, looking out over the lights at all those people, huh? Well, that was too long ago to remember. Oh, there goes the meat wagon into town. They always open the gate for the meat wagon, don't they? Yeah. That's what we're counting on. Louis, there's something I want to tell you. No, pipe down. Here comes the yard hack. All right, line up. Back in line. Well, Louis, here's a darkness you like so well. Yeah, and I like to feel it closer than it is now. I don't like to have it dodging iron bars to get to me. That isn't right. Got a cigarette? Oh, sure. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, you wanted to tell me something out there in the yard today. Yes, I did. Can we talk now? I think it's all right. Louis, I'm pointing out. Yeah? I'm not going to be with you and, and the others. I've decided. Well, that's your privilege, kid. Look, I, I've only three more years to do. The good behavior and all, well, the idea just doesn't add up for me. I can't say that I wouldn't do the same if I were in your shoes. What's happened anyway? Well, the meat wagon's all set. Thanks to the steer you gave us over in the butcher shop, we'll have the driver. You'll be at the wheel of the truck when it heads for the gate. What about the yard hack? We can take care of him easy. Those of us that are waiting... Length of pipe is all we need from him. But the tower hack's the big problem. He cut us down before we got near the truck. That's where it all depends on Whitey. Whitey? Yeah. And the package he's expecting. If we don't have something to blast that tower guard, we don't stand a chance. Oh, Whitey will get it. 
If he does, I don't see how we can miss. Unless... Unless what? Unless somebody talks. Why are you looking at me? No particular reason. Got a match? Yeah. Have another cigarette? I got the package I was looking for. You did? Yeah. Where's the kid? I'm worried about the kid, Whitey. He's pulling out. He's what? Pulling out. You know, Louie, I never did trust the kid. You better tell him what's sure to happen to him if he talks out of turn. I got something in mind, Whitey. Something which ought to impress that on him pretty well. You know what, Louie? What? I was thinking about that tower hack. Yeah? It's too bad about him. I, I understand he's married and got kids. You shouldn't worry about the tower hack, Junior. Louie, let go of me. You should only worry about keeping your trap shut. Louie, I was because only... Because if you don't, this is just a taste of what you're going to get. Ow! Guard! Hey, guard! Hey, what's happening? What's going on here? And the kid had another one of his fainting spells. He smacked his head on the side of the bed there. We pause briefly from our story, The Walls Are High, starring Kurt Kruger, to bring you an important message from your War Department. Your regular army is one of the world's greatest research institutions. In every field of scientific exploration, regular army soldiers assist in the testing and development of our latest discoveries. Even before the army built this country's first railroad, army leaders had established a program of continuous medical and scientific research. As a result, Today's regular Army is a forward-thinking, forward-planning organization. Army technicians are searching for new devices and new methods to improve the security of our nation and to benefit mankind. Regular Army soldiers are wide-awake young Americans who recognize the challenge of a career which offers opportunities for personal achievement. They have a good job and high pay. And don't forget, the educational benefits of the GI Bill of Rights are good until the official end of the war. Any qualified young man between 18 and 34 or 17 with his parents' consent may join the new regular army. Act today. Get complete information on a three-year regular army enlistment at the nearest army recruiting station. Act two of The Walls Are High, starring Kurt Kruger as Daryl Everett, the actor. Daryl found himself involved in a prison break that he wanted no part of. The tension in certain quarters of the state prison was mounting, and the warden wanted to be sure that Daryl's fainting spell was just that. Uh, you get along with Louis all right? Yes, fine, warden. Uh, you're sure you never had any trouble with him? No, never. Everett. You understand that it's for your own good to tell me the truth. But I'm telling you the truth. I fainted, that's all there was to it. All right. Take him back to the yard. All right. Come on, Everett. Louis, you shouldn't have beat up the kid. You shouldn't have done it. Why not? Because our next one way or the other. He was in on everything from the beginning. The only thing I could do is to scare him good. But they'll be wondering. They'll be asking him questions. What if he sings? He won't sing, Whitey. He won't sing. You see what I mean? Look. Where? Over there, Whitey. Here he comes now. He found out which side his bread was buttered on. We're all set for tomorrow. Strap this heater. Okay. 
Louie. Yeah? Come here. What's the matter? Help me with this strap here. Oh. oh. That's it. Now put it against the wall. Oh. I can lean on it and cover it. Watch out. Here comes the yard hack. Yeah, yeah. Hello, boys. Hello, Louie. Uh, hello. Hello. Hot day, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Say, I think Pete wanted to talk to you about something. Oh, uh, yeah? Where is he? Right over there. See what he's got on his mind. Whew, it's a close call. Now, if Pete can just keep in there until that truck comes out. Where the devil is that meat wagon? It'll be here. It'll be here. Look at that tower hack up there. Just like a clay pigeon. Yeah. Say, there's the kid. He's watching us. Easy now, easy. I think I hear the truck. Up there on the tower. Watch out. It's the kid. Get back. Get back up there. Get Give me that heater, Whitey. That here. double crossing kid. Get back. Get back. Cut, cut, cut. All right, hold it. Ah, oh, that was a great scene. That was terrific. Oh, Daryl, the part's yours. Well, thanks. Daryl, Daryl, my boy, I take it all back. You do, Tony? Well, how nice of you. Oh, but Daryl, I had reason to be worried after that last flop hole you were in, but thank the Lord I was able to get you this test. You agree with me now? Agree with you? Why, listen, sweetheart, this play may have been written by an unknown and produced on a shoestring, but it will make a great picture, and it's going to be your greatest role. This is C.P. McGregor speaking. I hope you've enjoyed our Proudly We Hail story starring Kurt Kruger, before leaving you, Don Forbes has an important message for all of us. What's in it for me? How often have you heard that question about an enlistment in the Army? I'll answer that question now. The revised pay scale assures every soldier a higher than average income with promotions, honorability, and corresponding raises in pay. Dependency benefits, overseas, longevity, flight, and glider pay augment his base pay in addition to free food, clothing, lodging, and medical care. He receives credit for education at government expense up to the termination of the war. And he is eligible for a liberal retirement income after only 20 years of service. The regular Army soldier learns a trade. He is a member of a great organization devoted to research and development. His outfit is daily making history in scientific fields, continuing and extending its work of research and experimentation. Today's soldier is educated to the task to which he is assigned. He is a foresighted man who recognizes the need for technical development and wants to be associated with a group that is carrying on such a program. The regular army soldier can say, yes, I had a part in the development of supersonic planes, or he might say radar, radio-controlled rockets, or any number of new discoveries. He handles the newest and most complicated machines. His daily work brings him in contact with the latest developments in science. Education under the GI Bill of Rights is still open to any soldier who serves at least 90 days, one day of which is before the official termination of the war. Privates start out at $75 a month or $90 overseas. There are opportunities for learning while in service under USAFI and off-duty courses. And a soldier emerges an expert in the trade or skill for which he is trained. There is a good job waiting in the new regular army for all ambitious men between 17 and 34. The army will train you as a technician. For a list of jobs available to you, go to your nearest Army recruiting station. Thank you, Kurt Kruger, for your wonderful portrayal. Proudly We Hail will come to you again over this station next week. Listen in. <laughs>